So what sort of advice would you give to someone who's considering applying for the scholarship? It's open to anybody. You have to obviously be studying, but it's open to anybody. And even if you didn't win this grand prize, you're aiming for. Yeah. Even the journey to get to it in whichever way, shape or form is a learning curve in a good direction. If someone giving you a genuine opportunity to further yourself, the real deal. It's got a long history. You can do your research. The research is there. You'll probably learn something else along the way. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win this award. Even the interviewing process helps prepare you for more interviews. You know, the, the whole process of getting there, putting the application together. So you'll get something out of it. Everybody's got the opportunity to get something out of it. It's up to them to actually do something and it can help you get somewhere maybe you want to get. Well, you know, you just try your best and you come up with some some ideas. It was just an idea, I thought, you know, and I, I conjured up the guts to say, I was 21 at the time, and they were so obliging. You know, we are the hospitality industry. Yes. People that live and breathe it really do have a huge heart and it it mirrors off it mirrors off you to other people and other people mirror it back to you and that fills you up. That nurturing, fulfilling thing that you, you feed people and the and the world's a big place. Oh, if you yes. think that you know all the food that Japan has to offer, we'll get on a plane and go to Brazil and see how much how much you know about that food. I chose this industry because you'll never know anything anyway. I never owned my own interviewing clothes until I won this award. You know, things yes. are hard. It was like $5 an hour. It was for 48 hours a week. 200 and something dollars a week. Oh. So, you know, it, it is what you make. So there I am going to interviews, getting ready, wearing my auntie's clothes or my mother's shoes or auntie's best friend's suit. You know, the only thing that was mine was my underwear. And here I am trying to do this. So there's so many other things you're managing, but I still had that same suit. And I wore that suit when Oliver Shaw gave me the award. You do feel very privileged and, you know, honoured that you were chosen. And it's actually a good thing that they're very rigorous about the selection yep. because you want you want it to go to the right person that's hopefully going to make something with it. 